Hey guys, so today I have a video for you that wasn't planned, so I know in the last video, or the first video, I said that the next one would be about Storybook Cosmetics and going further into the palettes and the other products that they have. Not that you knew that, but <laughs> today we actually had a happy interruption, if you will. I reached out to this brand a little while ago because I love supporting small companies. I have a lot of clothing from small companies and I was trying to get further into the cosmetics section of all of that and I found this company called Brit Nicole Cosmetics and I reached out to them and asked them if they would be interested in me making a video about their products and she said yes and she sent me over two of her lip products. One is a lip mixer and one is a um, matte liquid lipstick and I today I'm going to be showing you how these wear. I'm going to be showing you the different tips and tricks that I came up with while wearing these for the last couple of days because I wasn't I wasn't going to show you guys something that I didn't love and wouldn't want you guys to buy. So today that's what this video is going to be about. The video that I said <laughs> was going to be next. The Storybook Cosmetics one is going to be out soon. If it's going to be the next one, I don't know. If it's going to be three from now, who knows. But it's coming, I promise. So let's get right into this video. So obviously I already did my face makeup, my eye makeup, my mascara, everything to do with that. The only thing missing is my lips. And I hope you guys can tell but these are lips earrings and I got them specially made for this video because they're adorable. So the first lip that we're going to be going into is their lip mixer and this is in the shade Level Up. It looks like this. Look at that cap though. Oh my goodness. And it just twists off. The applicator has a little divot in the front. The second one that I'm going to be showing you today is the matte liquid lipstick and it looks like that. They sent me the red shade. It's called Late to the Meeting except it's Late to Dumb Meeting and I love that. It also has a cute little crystal bottom of the cap but it's not the actual full cap like the other one. It kind of just hangs out down here. Let's get right into the first one. The applicator does pick up quite a bit of product, so I would, when you pull it out, swipe off the excess on the side of the rim. And we're just going to go right into it. And I'm going to do the bottom lip first. So I know everybody has different shaped lips and different sizes, but that applicator goes right over my lip in one swoop. It is perfect. I'm going to show you how it does the top lip, and I'm going to tilt my mirror up just a little bit. Did you guys see how smooth that was? Okay, I'm going to go back in. Once again, the applicator does pick up a lot. Okay. So this is Level Up, the lip mixer on my lips, and I cannot tell you how soft and smooth this feels. Like, the product does move when you put your lips together and like move them around, but the color stays where it is, if that makes sense. Like, there's so much pigment and there's so much product from that application that when you're moving and talking and you're just, you know, living your life, if you accidentally touch it, like I did, that it's on my finger just the tiniest bit, it stays there. There's no getting that off unless you are trying to get it off. What I also would like to say is this particular formula, it is not kiss proof. It will transfer just from wearing it. I can tell that it would do that, so that is what I would say about it, but I love this. But I do want to give you a description of what this 
Velvet Lip Mixer is supposed to do. It says, this babe can be worn alone or with a gloss. You can even top it on a matte lipstick for an ombre effect. Our Velvet Lip Mixer collection smells like chocolate. And it does. As soon as you take that applicator out of the bottle, all you smell is that chocolate fragrance. So if you don't like fragrances, I still think you'll like this one because who doesn't like chocolate? So next, I did take swatches on my little makeshift palette. This is going to be my beginner's tip for today in this video. So I know a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube have these glass palettes that they use to mix lipsticks and mix foundations. I got this from the dollar store. It is a picture frame. As you can see, you're supposed to like lift this part up and slide a picture in and just like place it on your desk. I don't use it for that. I use it as my palette and it works perfectly. This was a dollar. I got another one. I've got three more over there. I have one for foundation mixing, one for lipsticks, some I use for mixing primers. I do mix primers. Today I'm actually wearing two. Not together. They're separate, but I'm sure they're mixed in somewhere in between the fine lines. But I wanted to show you the different finish. Hopefully you can see that. So the lip mixer is this one, and it is a much shinier, soft looking finish. And then the one that I'm about to put on is this one. It is the matte liquid lipstick and the color Late to Demeeting. This one dried down is very, it's there. Like it's not going to go anywhere. There's no way that you could budge it. But this one here, just because I've already showed you like there is definitely budge in that formula but in this one nothing so that is my little tip and trick of the day and there you can see the difference in the formula so next I'm gonna take off this lip and I'll be right back so that we can try on this lip okay now that I've taken it off we're going to put this one on and I have to say that that was the easiest I have ever had taking off a lipstick. Came off so easily. I didn't need makeup remover. That should tell you something. So for this formula, this is the one that I have a tip and trick for you. Because I had the hardest time figuring out how to wear this. But the reason I was having such a hard time figuring out how to wear it was completely my fault. So just in case you buy it, which I hope you do. You can use my code. I'm going to put it right here and I'm also going to put it in the description and I'm sure I've already put it three times by now, but I hope you guys love it if you do wind up buying it. So I was taking it out, wiping it off like it was a normal liquid lipstick, but this formula is so thin thick and it wants to be there. It wants to be on your lips and it wants to be there by itself. It does not want layers. It does not want a buddy. It is a very independent lipstick. So what I've been doing is I've been taking this lip brush and this is the Luxie 160 lip and I've just been going in like that. Very minimal it will make sure that it's just one thing and it will not cake and it won't flake and it'll just be a better application for you and that is my tip and trick for this specific formula of lipstick. So many rhymes. Okay, and on to the top lip. I'm just going to make an X and go from there. So now that my lipstick is all applied, I am going to read you the description on this one also. It says that it is a red liquid matte lipstick in the shade Late to Demeeting. It says that it is smudge proof, like we saw on the swatch from the palette. And it says that it is also waterproof. So... I am going to be testing that out, and it says it can be removed with any oil-based makeup remover. So, I got a wet, 
cotton round because I'm not taking you into my bathroom because I don't want to move my setup because, you know, lazy. Okay. And it was telling the truth. There is nothing moving on that palette. And I drenched it in water, as you could see. I hope if you try this brand and this lipstick out that you love it and you will tag me in a picture of you wearing it. If you loved today's video, I hope that you subscribe for more content like this. Hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me how your day was, and I hope to see you next time.